Hi guys! Happy Sunday. We're here again. Englishman foodie once a week. We're going to have some fun. This time I picked up some Buongiorno. Italiano again. Listen, I'm an Englishman, but I'm living in Malta and Malta is very close to Italy and Sicily. In fact, Lido is the main, we're, we're one of the main places from Italy because it comes over from Sicily. But this is from a supermarket. They're Italian. This is not really the, the main thing of the video. This is just a, a vehicle to use. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, oh, what, what should we do? Put some spray in that first. I think that's the best way. I've got a bit of spray. I've got the oven on. I don't know what's inside this. This is some, just some oil, some flour or something. I've got some a vehicle for the dips because I'm going to do dips today, guys. Uh, I've just a few dips. Sometimes I just experiment. I just stick things in, and actually, I've never gone wrong. I, I, I had a bit of a weird one once with cheese. I like to make uh, Maltese ones. There's one in Malta called Bigilla. Uh, you can buy the bean. It's like a broad bean, really. Let me put the let me put the heat on. So the oven's on. I'm going to bung these in the oven. Sorry if I sound a bit blocked because I'm still suffering from uh, from COVID. Uh, I had it, but it's like a lingering on. It's like as if it's blocked up my head completely. I can feel my sometimes I can feel my voice sort of vibrating inside me. Oh, shut your mouth, Steve. That's the best way. <laughs> That's a good idea. And we've got loads of festers over here. I'm Englishman in Malta, by the way. Uh, Englishman foodie. I do this once a week on Sunday. Maybe if I get some time, I'll start progressing a bit. If we get a few more subs, what you lot doing? Click that thing down there and the bell and get me over a thousand. Anyway, this is a, a mini toast <laughs> in Italian. It's a, uh, what, what has it got? You can put it in the toaster or you can put it in the oven. Uh, it takes about six minutes, it says. It's uh, pros prosciutto ham, if you didn't know, guys. Let's just take that off the heat a minute. Uh, prosciutto and mozzarella. Mostly Italian things, that's all. That. Let's have a look what it is in the box. What's in the box today? <laughs> hey, that's a good series. Go and look at my other videos. Give them some love and give that subscribe button a good bang because we need it. If we get over a thousand, not particularly because it gets a bit monetized, what peanuts they send to us anyway, YouTube, it gets noticed a bit and it sort of gets promoted because YouTube, they couldn't give a damn if you're under a thousand because they're not making any money out of you. So what the hell, they just leave you alone. So this is the mini toast. We'll put a couple of those in. We've got four in the box. Prosciutto, ham and mozzarella, that really nice cheese you find from, uh, from Italy. And this is a uh, Panzerotti. Not, not, uh, what's his name, the singer? Tell me in the comments. Because my head is completely blocked. And uh, the instructions are how to open the box. Because I'm going to just, I'm just going to just rip it apart. This is on the pan in the microwave. Uh, oh, you can just deep fat fryer. Oh, that would be different, eh? And what are they like? Little, they look like little, little pies. I don't know what they exactly they are. Ideal for dips or something like that. Oh yeah, like mini things. Uh, that's pomodoro, tomatoes, and mozzarella. So we bung a few of those in there. Just something to. Uh, I put three in. Hey, that's that's enough. I suppose I should really put those in the. I might cut and put go and put them in the freezer because they go all yucky. Eh? That's enough, eh? We've got one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to make about five dips. Just concoctions. That's what I think. I think you won't call them dips. We'll call them concoctions. Something I've put together. I've got a few herbs out in the, on the terrace. You know, I'm sure if you've been watching me from before, Englishman in Malta. Um, I know I do videos around Malta. I'm doing a few festas. I'm doing some things, roadrunners, because I can't do any, I couldn't do any walking these last few, uh, few weeks. Chest and head and when I came back from London I was completely blocked I was just on the aeroplane for you know when you've been on an aeroplane and you I don't know if anybody suffers from your ears because I inherited problems from my mum with my ears 
and I've got to be careful of wind and things like that. But anyway, uh, I was coming into land, and it hasn't happened to me for years and years when there used to be the old airlines coming into mortar. It's sort of if it comes down a bit too fast, or m maybe you can hear me, I'm congested. And my head's here, this one here. Wow, it's, dark. it's like an eternity. You're like, please, please land and it, as soon as possible. And you're just going, ah, oh, the pain is going even more and more. And when he says like, we're landing, <laughs> thank goodness for that. I'm gonna switch that off a minute. This is for, my, uh, for one of my dips. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is put this in the oven. Just gonna stop for a few seconds to put that in the, in the freezer because I don't want them to go all yucky. We did one, two, three, four, five, and we've got one, two, three, four, four dips. Anyway, back in a few minutes, we'll put this in the oven, uh, just 200 for like six or seven minutes. We'll see how they are, go a little bit crusty. Uh, these are toasts, you can put them in the, in the toaster, it says as well, so it's not gonna take much, guys. Back in a second. Hey. I'm back. Actually, I'm feeling a lot, lot better. Thanks, guys, for all your comments on the last video as a roadrunner on the English Man in Malta. Everybody says, I hope you're feeling better safe. I am. I'm getting a lot of energy. If I can get rid of this congestion in my head, uh, it doesn't help here because it's, it's been 35, over 35 degrees, I think it says in the shade midday. But if you go out in the sun, it's squelching. In the house, it's really squelching. So maybe that's not helping me very much. But uh, I'm going to just carry on. I'm trying to do a few videos for you, so bear with me on the Englishman in Malta, but Englishman foodie, you'll get one every week. Uh, I'm going to try and do some, as I said, traditional things, but I was just knocked off my feet with this, uh, with this virus. I was, thinking to, I, I was thinking, oh, look, here I am, I haven't caught it yet, I haven't caught it yet. <laughs> and I started off with this tickly cough, and then oh, I just felt like completely drained, like all the energy in it. And you know it's the, the lethargic when you're sitting there and you, and you know you've got things to do and you just, oh, we just can't be bothered. I've got important things as well. I had some tax things. Well, <laughs> it's not really important. But I know I've got to get to the date because uh, you've got like returns to put in for certain dates. But I could, oh, what the hell? I can't be bothered. Anyway, this is heating up. This is going to be sweet and sour dip. My version. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Because I found out, guys, you can do it. You can do anything. And don't get, don't go and buy those expensive dips. Because you've got things in the cupboard. You can make lovely dips out of. All you need for this one, um, I've I've done some. I've done a small mixture, just to thicken it up with corn flour. Most of this is two of everything. Two teaspoons corn flour with a little bit of water. Two teaspoons of water two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons soya light, or you can put heavy, depending on how much you want, two sprays of this, or teaspoons of, uh, of vinegar. You can use white, um, mostly they say white, but I've got brown, so. And two, a sugar. And now most of these are how, how you want it, how you feel, try it out a little bit. Um, Look, I'm gonna do this easy. I've got the, I've got, actually I don't use the spoon. <laughs> I just, I just spread it. This is the uh, ketchup, farting ketchup. One, two. I'm gonna get something to, to uh, stir it a little bit. Here it, how it goes guys. You can see it from there, I'm sure. Maybe it's a little bit high, number six. Let's put it down a bit. This is so easy. It's child's play, honestly. I'm gonna cup, it's supposed to be one, two, three, four. So it's roughly two, two of this, of the uh, soya. Use heavy if you, if you prefer. Oof. I don't care. I might put a little bit more water in that because I think I went a bit haywire with it. Hang on, hang around guys. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna just put a little. Have you ever done that, guys? Have you ever done this sort of? You you're messing around. You think, oh, that could do with a bit more water, and you spoil it completely because you put too much in. This is how simple dips are. 
I'm only making a drop I've received for myself, so I'll multiply the, the mixtures. I'm just gonna put, I put two because I don't like it that sweet. One teaspoons, but you put whatever you want. So that was it, vinegar, soya sauce. Really, you're gonna heat it up because you wanna get rid of that sugar. You wanna granulate it a bit. So if you wanna you in finer sugar, you can. Most of these, you can just do it cold. That's it, guys. A bit of uh, corn flour, corn starch, whatever you wanna call it. Thicken it up a little bit. Probably with that little bit less of water, we need to put the cornstarch in it. It's done. Cook it for cook it out the cornstarch so you just so you don't get that sort of floury taste. We've got the uh, they call that mortali if you can hear it in the background. So that's the first one. Mortali is from Lia, the fester of Lia, which is very near because I'm in the three cities here. Oh, by the way. I'm English man in Malta. I do videos as well around Malta. So if you want to come and see me on the other channel, the link is below. So that's the, that's the dip. Lovely thick dip. I've got a few spoons here. It's just perfect for me, this. Some people like them a little bit thicker. That's what I'm saying. If you want to use like corn flour and you make it, uh, you make that extra thick. It's up to you how you want to do it. Next one is really simple. Remember the video, the last video, uh, the Latin one, guys? Chimichurri. I've seen it on many, many videos before. Chimichurri, chimichurri in Mexico and things like that. I always fancied it. And when I saw it at Lido, yeah, I do videos on Lido. <laughs> I thought I'll have a go at that. And, that. and you can use it as a dip by itself. Just chimichurri. It's got all sorts of things in it. It's got like... Uh, chili, jalapeno, peppers, and garlic. So I thought, why don't make it into a barbecue, honey? Sorry about the farting containers, guys. It's not my fault. <laughs> Speak to HP. And there it is, chimichurri barbecue, honey. So quick, so easy. Next one, guys. You're gonna say, Steve, you're crazy. How would these two mix? But they do. It's a, this is a, a French dressing with a Stilton. It's, it's lovely, it's a lovely taste. It's almost like a French mustard. So a couple of times, one, two of those. Sometimes I've done that. I've just made a, a French mustard in there and tartar sauce. You're crazy, Steve. Two of those. That one's ready. So you've got like a Stilton uh, chimichurri. Sorry, Stilton tartar. I'm getting myself mixed up. Dip. It, this one is awesome. It's got like a Stilton mustard taste. And with that tartar, you know, with the parsley and things like that mixed into it. That's the one finished. Next one. Hey, how easy it is to do dips. I do a nice one with uh, mint. It's really good. You know what I'm gonna do? Like, I forgot about this. In the uh, chimichurri, I put a few chives just for experimenting. I forgot all about these dips. That comes really nice with chives. So chimichurri, honey with chives. And that one I'm gonna put, the Stilton. I'm gonna put a few basil leaves inside it. You now people tell you, oh, don't cut basil leaves. But I don't normally, but it's good to break them because they get bruised, they say. So that's a bit of basil in there. That gives it like a bit of a, a bit of a fresh taste. We're ready. Next one, guys. I came across this sweet, sweet chili. It's really awesome, it's sweet chili. Um, but you can buy a sauce, but this is a ketchup. And it's got that thick sort of ketchupy taste. 
So two of those, everything, that's the recipe guys. Two, two, and two, and two. <laughs> and the oyster. Experiment with these guys, because you'd be surprised. Two of these. Thick oyster sauce. So simple dips. Go, why go and spend like three, four euros for a dip? There it is, oyster and sweet chili. Let's clear the decks. Um, sometimes with this one, I put a few, let me, let me put a few mint leaves in it because it, it gives it that sort of. I got these from the terrace. They're a bit down in the dumps because the heat is killing them, especially the mint. It can't survive, but in the winter time, the mint is fantastic. And you know what? I, got, I came across that I bought. I went to the market because they have a market in Ta'ali here. There's a closed market uh, for vegetables. And she's got some like a big bunch of mint. And I said, oh, give me those. And I'll have those. for. I'm going to make some yogurt. That's a nice dip. Yogurt and mint uh, with some garam masala. Try that, guys. And she said, oh, if you want to keep it fresh, put it in a jar of water. So I said, oh, okay. Then. And the next week I saw these big leaves coming, these big roots coming from the bottom. I thought, Hey, that, let me stick it in the soil and it came a big bush <laughs> so for like one euro i've got a whole big month big bu bunch of uh, mint so there it is guys sweet and sour chimichurri barbecue we're going to do the stilton dip with tartar sauce and the last one Sweet chili uh, with uh, oyster sauce. <laughs> Steve, this, this uh, if you didn't know, I got COVID. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I came back from London and my ears are completely blocked. I couldn't hear a thing. In, you know, like the old days, I don't know how it's changed now, but coming into Malta, they used to go down quite steep into Malta. I don't know why that used to be. And I used to suffer because I used to come quite often to Malta every year. Uh, and my ears used to be blocked for ages. And it happened this time because I think I've got a lot of congestion. So I thought, oh, anyway, let's try it out. The things are ready. I took them out. It took no time at all, six minutes. They're nice. They're like, a, I mean, you can use anything for it. It's a toasty dip. Anyway, let's try the first one. Sweet and sour. You can make this as thick as you want, so put some corn flour in if you want it a bit thicker. We're going to try... Um, let's cut one of these in half and have a look at it. It's, it's, it's just a bit of toast, I think, with some ham and cheese in it. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that like... And the other ones came... They, they came out of the... a bit burst out of them. We had a bit of a cut then, guys. I tell you, I'm going to have to change everything on this. But I don't know what's going on. Anyway, sweet and sour, we'll get back to the thing. I don't know, I saw it flashing, so that's why I'm keeping an eye on it. Prosciutto and cheese in a toasty. And this is uh, sweet and sour. Dip. Anyway, we're back again. Where was we? Overheating now, SD card. And COVID, but we're battling on through. So we did the sweet and sour. Very nice sauce, maybe a little bit thicker. Can put a little bit of uh, corn flour in that. Chimichurri, honey. I think I did. I put a little bit of. Uh, no, I just had that by itself. Eh? But, oh no, with a bit of basil in that. Eh? Really, you can put anything in and try it. Experiment with it. Oh wow, guys! That chimichurri, fantastic. We're back guys, it cut off again. <laughs> what the hell? We're gonna do this one. This is chimichurri and barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna try, I already put it on there. I put it on the plate, it's got a few chives in there as well. So you can mess around and try all sorts of things. Oh, chimichurri is really nice with some HP sauce. It's got like a, a barbecue honey taste. Very, very nice. 
Anyway, this is Stilton. Stilton French mustard with some tartar sauce. Should be cleaning my palate every time. Guess what I've got over here, guys. Nice glass of white. You gotta get, you gotta keep him with the Italians, eh? So, this is Stilton French mustard with some tartar sauce. We'll try one of these. Mmm, that's got like um, cheese and tomatoes inside it. How nice is that? Anyway, we battled through a lot of trouble here. Overheating, SD card and COVID. The last one. How nice is this with mint? Sweet chili, mint and oyster. Oh, that's number one. That's really, I made that some time ago and I forgot how I made it. Sometimes I just experiment and shove things in each other. <laughs> and what you can do, mix all the, <laughs> mix all the dips together and have a party. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed it. A few things from Italy, just, uh, I don't know, toasties and those small parcels and four dips. Sweet and sour, chimichurri, uh, French mustard, and they did that one with uh, <coughs> sweet chili sauce. They're all great. Cheers, everyone. Happy Sunday. Sorry about the little bit of trouble, but these things are sent to try us. Bye, everybody. Take care. And don't forget you subscribe. <laughs> Take care. I start seeing a few little bubbles, and I know it's heated up enough. And that's one by one over. Sweet and sour dip. I'll wait for a second for a little bubbles. Let's move everything out the way and we'll start on the next one. So that was sweet and sour. Some sugar, soya, light or, or heavy, vinegar, water, a little bit of corn flour and obviously sugar. It's ready guys, there's the bubbles coming. We're gonna move on to the, on to the next.